Welcome back to Teach Me ABA. Today we'll be discussing B-5, which is schedules of reinforcement. We'll be going over definitions and examples. As a reminder, we recommend watching these videos in order to gain knowledge from the fundamentals and move forward in the series with ease. Every definition comes straight from the third edition of Applied Behavior Analysis, or also known as the Cooper Book, so make sure to have it during your study session. Schedules of reinforcement is an environmental arrangement that determines conditions by which behaviors will produce reinforcement. In other words, it's schedule of when to deliver reinforcement. The main types are continuous, also known as CRF, and intermittent schedules of reinforcement, also known as INT. First up, we'll discuss continuous reinforcement or CRF. CRF provides reinforcement for each occurrence of a behavior. This schedule is most useful when teaching a new skill. One advantage of using a CRF schedule is that learning happens quickly. There are a couple of disadvantages as well. The first one is that an individual may become satiated on that reinforcement because of how constant we are providing reinforcement to that individual. Also, it can be very time consuming to continuously run this type of schedule of reinforcement. CRF is really good at maintaining a behavior, but it's also easily subject to extinction. For an example, candy machines are examples of continuous reinforcement because every time you put money into that candy machine, you're gonna get some candy out of it. However, if that candy machine stops working and you put money in twice in a row you're pro and you get nothing out of it, you're probably not gonna put money back into that candy machine. Next, we have intermittent schedules of reinforcement or INT. INT provides reinforcement for some, but not all occurrences of a behavior. INT uses ratio and interval schedules of reinforcement. There are two types of ratio schedules. There's going to be fixed and variable. A fixed ratio, also known as an FR schedule of reinforcement, requires the individual to respond correctly to a fixed number of responses in order to receive that reinforcement. As an example, an individual may receive reinforcement on every fourth correct response or every third correct response to whatever it's going to be as long as it's on that correct response they're receiving reinforcement. While an FR schedule creates high rates of responding by an individual, it also produces a post-reinforcement pause, which follows the reinforcement. The individual does not respond for a period of time following the reinforcement. A post-reinforcement pause is appropriate when a client's programming allows for breaks between periods of work. A variable ratio or VR schedule of reinforcement requires the completion of a variable number of responses to produce reinforcement. As an example, a VR2 schedule is the behavior is reinforced on an average of every two correct responses. This means the client can be reinforced on the first, the second, or even the third correct response. As long as the average of all of those is every two correct responses, they're getting reinforced. A VR schedule is the preferred schedule of reinforcement because it maintains a moderate and consistent rate of responding because the reinforcement delivery is unpredictable. Also, it does not create a post-reinforcement pause. A slot machine is programmed to pay off only a certain number of times that the machine is played. A player cannot predict when that next payoff is going to be. It could happen on the third time, the second time, or even the 20th time. The player is going to keep playing because they don't know when that payoff is going to happen. Now let's discuss the two types of interval schedules of reinforcement. There's fixed interval, also known as FI, and also variable interval, also known as VI. A fixed schedule or FI schedule of reinforcement requires a fixed duration of time followed by a correct response in order to provide reinforcement. FI schedules of reinforcement typically produce a post-reinforcement pause in responding during the early parts of the interval, also known as the scallop effect. As an example, a teacher could make reinforcement available on an FI two-minute schedule of reinforcement to answers on a math worksheet. The student's first correct response following that two-minute interval is what's going to produce reinforcement. The teacher then resets their timer for another two-minute interval. A variable interval or VI schedule provides reinforcement for the first correct response following the lapse of a variable duration of time. VI schedules may have a less significant post-reinforcement pause, or if any at all. When thinking about post-reinforcement pause, we want you to think of those fixed interval schedules of reinforcement. 
As an example, a VI 5 minute schedule of reinforcement provides reinforcement after an average of 5 minutes have lapsed, followed by a correct response. The actual time intervals in a VI 5 minute schedule might be 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 3 minutes, or even 10 minutes, as long as the average is 5 minutes. An example of a VI schedule of reinforcement in real life is a pop quiz. A teacher is not going to tell their students when this pop quiz is going to happen, so they're expected to pay attention and study throughout the week, month, or even semester. If the student has been engaging in that studying and paying attention behavior, they're most likely going to get a good grade on that pop quiz and their grade will go up, which is reinforcing for them. Post-reinforcement pause may occur for a short period of time after the pop quiz because there is not likely going to be a pop quiz in the upcoming days. So the student will continue to pay attention and study because they do not know when the next pop quiz is going to happen. Now it's time for a pop quiz. True or false? Is a variable ratio schedule of reinforcement the most preferred? All right, that ends our discussion of B-5, which is schedules of reinforcement. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. And just remember to like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Bye now.